Hi, I'll be concentrating solely on the sort bar today, demonstrating the various functionalities it has to offer, all from a single place. The sort bar is located near the top, just below the toolbar. The name of your currently selected list will always appear to the left. This is also where a small, briefcase-shaped button will appear when you click on a project or its subtask. This button allows you to toggle between Project View and the normal List View. Project View is a special view where To Do only displays your project, its subtasks, and nothing else, just so you can concentrate without distractions. To the right hand side, you are displayed a number of options. The first is a toggle button that modifies the visibility of scheduled tasks. Tasks that have a particular start date and time in the future are marked as scheduled. Since you cannot complete a scheduled task before its start time, To Do conveniently hides it for you. Using this button, you can optionally display all your scheduled tasks. Next to this, we have the sorting options. Clicking on the little arrow button allows you to easily switch between an ascending and descending sorting order. To switch to a different sorting method, you simply click on the drop down and make a selection. The last option available is what we call the focus filter. Here we have in fact two buttons. The first is a toggle button that allows you to switch the focus filter on and off, while the drop down allows you to select the different combinations you would like to use. The aptly named focus filter is a one click feature that lets you quickly filter on just the tasks that need focus. Each one of your lists can have its individual focus setting. From the drop down menu, you can select multiple options to apply all of the selected filters at the same time. So for example, let's only focus on tasks due this week in my home list, but also only the ones that are of high priority. From now on, it's simply a matter of toggling the focus button to switch between a seemingly never-ending to-do list and the stuff that really matters. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in learning more, please have a look at the rest of the videos to learn what you can do with to-do.